everybody and welcome back to another video refuting the feast days argument number 13 entitled the feasts were always done and this is another hilarious one because these professing Torah keepers claim that the feasts were always done another illogical complete erroneous argument the feasts were always done oh really let's refute this with logic in Genesis 19, 1 through 3, two angels came to visit Lot to deliver him from Sodom and Gomorrah. You all probably know the story. This is the first time in Scripture of any reference to angels. But notice, brethren, in verse number 3, And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake, watch it, unleavened bread, and they did eat. My question is, how do you know he was observing Passover? The word Passover doesn't appear, it's not a nature law, and no death angel appearing through. Just because the terms unleavened bread and feast appear, these Judaizers believe, oh, he was keeping the feast! Why would he celebrate something that hasn't happened for approximately another 440 years? <laughs> you honestly believe the angels are worried about him keeping a feast of future prophecy when God's about to destroy the city by fire and brimstone? I mean, think of how stupid that sounds. Did the angels tell God to wait seven days before he bombs the place because of the feast of unleavened bread? Are you kidding me? And while they were bringing Lot and his family out of the city the next morning, verse 15... Was Lot so paranoid that he ate unleavened bread on his way out to keep from breaking the feast? I mean, was he munching a, on a snack on the unleavened bread? So paranoid and so scared, saying to himself, Oh, if I don't eat this bread just right for so many days, God's going to kill me. Even though he's about to burn the city down anyways. But he's going to kill me if I don't keep the feast correctly. He's going to be so angry at me. What kind of a stupid argument is that? I mean, is that the best you got, Judaizers? You got way too much time on your hands. Alright, brethren, that's all for this video. Just wanted to show you how this argument alone is very ridiculous. And you see, you don't need a lot of time to make a video to refute these silly, stupid arguments. All you need is simple, logical reasoning, and the scripture text itself, and the Holy Spirit will show you the truth. Now, isn't that simple? Of course it is. So, brethren, love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God and keep the commandments, and read the King James Bible. Thanks.